uh, Ramaphosa took over. He was elected on the ticket of anti-corruption. The matters have become worse. Their darling director told them that the ANC wants to milk uh, ESCOM. Minister told him that as he does his job, he must allow people to eat uh, in ESCOM. Is their darling. We told them he's got no capacity to solve the problem of ESCOM. They said he's got capacity. Today, maybe people will believe us because it's being said by a white man that the ANC wants to finish what is left of ESCOM. And that's why they are talking what they are talking today. Corruption is the daily bread of the ANC. When they wake up in the morning, they are planning which area we're going to steal from. Not which area are we going to deliver services to? And your take on ANC Secretary General Mbalula saying that they're going to take legal action against a, a, scum, a former ESCOM CEO. He's blowing a hot air. He knows that. He, there's nothing, he, no action he can take against ESCOM a, a a former a CEO. Chancellor House, which is an ANC company, was involved in the construction of Midupi a power station, the power station that was supposed to solve this problem that we are confronted with. Today, that, pro that power station is not giving us what we have paid for. And because uh, the ANC companies were involved in that uh, corruption. So he is just talking. Uh, and if he knows what is good for him and the ANC, he will keep quiet. Because if they are pushing that white man, he will start revealing their names and it will not be nice for them so let him take chances he will regret the day he was born that will be an official unveiling of tombstone of the anc